Local agencies are doing their part to help out with relief efforts. Our team coverage continues with Erie News Now's Jamison Hixenbaugh, who spoke with leaders of the Erie chapter of the American Red Cross and also with Penelec to find out about their reach of assistance. We're just trying to get people where they need to be to assist the people that need our help. The Erie Red Cross currently has 10 volunteers deployed down south to help out with hurricane relief. But the widespread damage left behind by Hurricane Helene has created some challenges. That is the, the, the issue with Helene, that it hits so many different states that it's a huge geographic area. So trying to get volunteers in every place we need to be is essential. Now that Hurricane Milton has made landfall, the organization has shifted its focus. Some of our um, shelters that are open, some of the area is going to be hit again. So mm -hmm. we're moving, moving our volunteers and the people in those shelters to other places so that they're out of the hurricane zone. Meanwhile, Penelec has deployed 14 line workers from our area to Lake City, Florida to help out with Milton relief. We will go from that point to wherever Florida Power and Light directs us. So that's the one piece we don't know right now. We know we'll be down there somewhere but we don't know exactly where. Those deployments come as 125 line workers from our region head back home after spending two weeks in Augusta, Georgia, restoring power following Hurricane Helene. When they were just released after two weeks yesterday, so some of them are coming home. It's like two passing ships here. And when they get, um, when they get back, we may look, depending on what Florida Power and Light needs us to do, we may look into sending additional, an additional wave down later. A nationwide effort to help those in need. Jamison Hixenbaugh, Erie News Now.